In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to take a black and white clip and cause it slowly to become a color clip by causing the color to creep across the screen so that what was black and white slowly becomes completely color. Let me give you a quick example of the finished product and then we'll show you the steps to make that happen. First thing I'm going to do is take a copy of my clip that happens to be vehicles on the road, drag it to track number one. I'll take that same clip and drag it down to track number two. And when we play it, one is on top of the other, so you see the same thing. Now what I'm going to do is take the clip on track number two and highlight it. And then we'll click on the Fix Enhance button above the timeline. Then we're going to go to the Color Adjustment. I'm in PowerDirector 17. Not all of these tools are available in earlier versions. And then I'm going to take on the Saturation Scale. I need to see it a little more clearly. And I'll drag the saturation all the way to the left. Now, now my image looks black and white. And then I will close that tool. So now my black and white will play on top of the color. So we need to do some adjusting to it. I'm going to click on it again and then I'm going to click on the designer button above the timeline and click on mask designer. This gets me into my mask properties. I need to choose a mask. I'm going to take this rectangular mask and now you begin to see that the mask actually punches a hole into my project. I'm going to change an attribute of it, drag down until I get to Object Settings, move down into the Mask Scale, and turn off Maintain Mask Aspect Ratio. That allows me to stretch the mask to cover the entire video. Now what I want to do is cho choose my zoom and zoom out just a little bit, and I'll show you why. One of the things I want to do with a mask is feather the radius. I want to make it a smoother border, so I'll drag it up to maybe a 5 or 6. Now you notice here it does that around all four corners. That's not what I want. So I'm going to take the top and stretch the mask a little bit up and stretch it down. A little bit more to the right. A little bit more to the left. So now everything is black and white when we start. I'll move my time indicator or playhead all the way to the left and then I'm going to do a keyframe by clicking the position value of my mask and set the diamond. Click the yellow diamond it will set a keyframe right there. Then I have to decide how long I want it to be as it moves from black and white to color and let's take it uh, well, maybe five seconds And now I'm going to set another keyframe for position at the five second mark. I could do it one of two ways. I'm just going to click the yellow diamond and now I have a keyframe. Now the value is the same as what I started out with, but what I want to do, let's say we want to move and make it color from the bottom to the top. I'm going to drag all the way up. And now, if I play this, our, my mask will move between the two keyframes for those five seconds. And slowly, it will go from black and white to color. I'll click on OK. And we'll play it once more since it's very short. And now we see that goes from black and white from bottom to top in color. Very simple process using masking and also using two copies of this same clip and also using a feature of the color adjustment in CyberLink PowerDirector.